Travel's making a comeback, and we're here to help you make the most of it. I'm Stacey Leska for Travel and Leisure, here to show you all the destinations that are eagerly awaiting your return, like right here in Dublin, Ireland. Come with me as we explore all the places you can stay and play to have a vacation well spent. Though there are a number of excellent accommodations here in Dublin, one of our favorites has to be the Shelbourne, a luxury hotel located in the heart of the city that can accommodate all of your needs. If you're coming to Dublin, you might as well do it right by booking a stay at the Shelbourne, one of the city's most luxurious and history-filled hotels. The hotel has been in operation for nearly 200 years and has acted as the hospitality heartbeat of the city ever since its opening day. Located just steps from Dublin's main attractions, including St. Stephen's Green, the Shelbourne is the ideal place to lay your head at night and be ready to explore more in the morning. But don't forget to explore the hotel itself as well. Make your way to the Constitution Room, where in 1922, a committee chaired by Michael Collins sat down to draft the Irish Constitution. The room still holds the original antique table and chairs used for the signing, and even has a copy under glass for guests to view. The hotel is also home to a few spectacular bars as well, including the Horseshoe Bar, the Saddle Room, the 1824 Bar, and more, which all come with creative bartenders who are happy to pour you a drink. The Shelbourne also has some rather fantastic guest experiences, like an in-house genealogist who can help you trace your Irish roots during your stay. Rooms start at about $500 a night. Already worked up an appetite? Come on, I'll show you where to get brunch nearby. Start the day the right way with a coffee and a decadent breakfast at Brother Hubbard. The shop, founded by Garrett Fitzgerald and James Boland in 2012, serves every kind of caffeinated beverage you'd ever desire, alongside a brunch menu featuring tasty treats with a Middle Eastern flair. Not sure what to order? Just get the Mezzi tray, which offers a little bit of everything, which you can get for just $14.50. If you're in a rush, the restaurant also offers tasty breakfast and snack items next door. But really, it's an experience to be here, so try to sit if you can. By the way, you cannot leave without trying a cup of their coffee because they roast it right here in-house, making it one of the freshest cups you'll have anywhere in the city. It's time to see more of the city, and the best way to do just that is with a walking tour. But not any walking tour will do. Sign up for the 1916 walking tour, which takes you through Ireland's rich history and takes you through St. Stephen's Green. Soak in the city's history with a unique historical tour alongside author, historian, and founder of the 1916 Rebellion Walking Tour, Lorcan Collins. On the 1916 tour, we covered the period 1916 up to 1923, which is a period that molds Ireland as a nation. Collins will share the historical background of the 1916 Easter Rising while walking you through some key locations from the battles around the city. And he does so with both pitch-perfect accuracy and a whole lot of fun. Head out with Collins on a private tour for $150 or join a group tour for just $15 per person. By the way, this is my favorite fun fact. When you pass by the Bank of Ireland and you see that all of the windows are still boarded up, it's because when the building was built, the British had a window tax, kind of like a precursor to a property tax, and they've just never filled them in with windows. Hungry for lunch? Good, me too. Come with us as we introduce you to our new friends at The Fish Shop, a tiny little restaurant that delivers huge flavors. Go local for lunch by stopping into the adorably quaint Fish Shop, a restaurant named the best seafood experience in Ireland by the Irish Restaurant Awards in 2019 and the best fish and chip shop in Ireland by Catherine Cleary of the Irish Times in 2017. Come for, what else, a solid plate of fish and chips, which starts at just $14.95. But if you've got some time and the taste for it, sip a glass from its stellar wine selection too. It's an intimate experience inside the shop with just a few stools, but it makes it all the more delightful as you can get to know those dining around you. Before you 
head out for a day in Dublin, you've got to look your best. Trust me, people here love their fashion. Luckily, the folks at Brown Thomas are here to help. Brown Thomas is the creme de la creme of department stores in Ireland. The four-chain department store sells the most luxurious clothing, cosmetics, and homeware goods curated from around the world. But for something unique, book a personal shopping experience. With the experience, you get to work one-on-one with a personal stylist who will pick out the best threads and accessories and have you walking out looking rather dapper. And like it's so peaceful. You know, sometimes it can be so the hustle and bustle of the store. You come in and everything is so frantic and you can't seem to find anything. You just come in here. It's like a little oasis. We close the door and we bring the whole shop to you. It really is the easiest thing to do. The best part, the personal shopping experience is available free of charge. But fair warning, you will want to buy every single thing you try on. The store opened its doors in 1848 and has been synonymous with good taste ever since. Inside you'll find Gucci, Prada, Louis Vuitton and more. I mean, um, on. Who doesn't need a dreamy sweater like this? I know I do. There's one more stop you need to make on your historical journey of Dublin, and that's to one of the most beautiful libraries in the world, housed at Trinity College. Easily one of the most beautiful libraries in the world, Trinity College Library is a can't-miss site in Dublin. Housed within Trinity College University, the library is a breathtaking sight to behold, with its rich wood shelves stacked from floor to ceiling with books from all over the globe. And in the library, which began with the founding of Trinity College in 1592, there's a small display highlighting the Book of Kells, an illuminated manuscript of the four Gospels of the Christian New Testament. Come for a tour of the library for $18 per person. Looking for a contemporary restaurant that's as unpretentious as they come? Come find the Richmond, a quiet little restaurant that will truly delight. Small but mighty, Richmond is well known as one of the city's most creative dining venues that also comes with some relatively reasonable prices. For a great deal and a taste of its best dishes, book a table for the restaurant's early bird special, which comes with three dishes for just $36. It includes starters like barbecue mackerel with beets, buttermilk, and main dishes like glazed lamb shoulder with fondant potatoes, artichoke, aubergine, anchovy, and capers. And truly, this is a stellar deal when you learn that the restaurant is also a recipient of a Michelin bib. And don't worry about eating early. That only means you can get to your next stop even sooner. Okay, this is Dublin, so you have to experience at least one pub and you might as well make it a historically significant one, like the palace bar behind me. Come on, let's go have a pint. Cool, quirky, and wildly historic, the Palace Bar is a must-visit pub in Ireland. Beloved by artists, poets, and local journalists, the pub has been pouring pints since 1823. Step inside for a drink, and if you're lucky, sit in the Snug, an area once reserved only for wives and mistresses. Grab a pint for just about six bucks. So you know you're in the presence of greatness when you come to a bar and see a Guinness poured this perfectly. That edge! Some serious skill. If you're looking to fit one more activity into your Dublin to-do list, make it the Guinness Storehouse, which will teach you all about the history of this fabulous Irish drink. There is perhaps no brand more emblematic of Ireland than Guinness. Arthur Guinness first brewed the beer in the 1700s and it's only grown in popularity since. Visitors to Dublin can pay homage to this tasty brew by visiting the Guinness Storehouse, where you can explore the story of the beer across seven floors, including learning about the beer making process, see historical advertisements, and see some spectacular Guinness inspired art before taking to the 360 degree views of Dublin from the building's Gravity Bar. Tickets to tour the building begin at $22 per person. Don't go too quickly, there's a lot of things to see. On the floor, they put in their 9,000 year lease on the property. So even if you wait a little while to come, odds are it's still gonna be here. This city is 
such a perfect mix of old and new. And it feels totally manageable. It's a place where you can get lost in the best way possible. You know, just allow yourself to wander. Find a new pub, a cool coffee shop, a neat little restaurant or a quiet corner where you can just reflect and enjoy yourself again. When you are ready, the sights, the tours, the restaurants, and of course the pubs will all be waiting for you so you can come to Dublin and have a vacation well spent.